Hey everybody, so today I'm coming at you guys with a video showing you guys how to test your irons to make sure they're safe to put in somebody else's hair. It's a very simple technique and once you really get into learning how to use uh, Marcel irons and stoves together, <laughs> then um, you won't even really think about it. You will just kind of know it would be like an instinct type of thing. All you want to need is a piece of white tissue or paper towel, a stove and a Marcel iron, and a mannequin. This video is for people who are new to using these types of appliances and um, it's very important that you have a mannequin because you do not want to like do this trying to test out to see if it's you know hot enough, too hot, whatever and you burn out your client's hair or your own hair um, no so a mannequin is your best friend one of these is your best friend okay until you learn how to do it without thinking about it when I use these I'm not thinking about oh are they too hot because I just know that they okay based on you know just years of experience I'm gonna put these in here now and the stove is on now, um, you want to make sure that when you are utilizing these tools that you have had some kind of prior knowledge of the whole situation, okay? The number one question I receive is, how do I know if they too hot? How do I know when to take them out? Okay? You know, first of all, you want to leave them in here, especially if they cold. Leave them in here until you start seeing light white smoke coming out of here. If it's smoking, you left me in too long. So you want to watch your irons, you know, open them, and I'm already seeing the light smoke emitting from the iron. Now, once you start seeing any kind of smoke coming from here, you want to take them out. You want to take your white paper, you see, I don't know if you can see the smoke from here, but there is light smoke coming from here. You want to clamp your iron onto the paper for about what, three seconds and honestly that's how it should be looking white um, you will have the color range from white to a light tan if your paper look past light tan you need to let them sit right here or on your heat mat for about three to five minutes after three to five minutes go past, you want to retest. And your paper should look like this. Then you can proceed on to the mannequin. I want to show you that that heat level was safe. Hope you guys can see this. Okay. As you can see, her hair is not burning out. Bam. So, that level of heat, you know, was safe for this mannequin's hair. You see a nice bouncy curl, no burning, nothing, okay? And that's basically it. So, your paper should be looking like this, the same color it was before you put your irons up in here. Now, like I said, it can be a little browner, so if, you, if your paper turns a light tan color, then okay you you can proceed with caution if you are scared just let them sit for three minutes retest and your irons will still be hot retest it if the paper is a light white color and when I say a light brown I mean light I don't mean no not this color brown I'm talking like a little bit of color if you go past a little bit of color, like, a, I mean tan, beige, 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 <laughs> your paper should be a really light beige. That's all I'm going to give you. If your paper go past light beige, you have to let these things sit just like this. Three minutes. Retest on the paper and then proceed. And that's it. If your iron is profusely smoking in here, you need to take these things out, let them sit for 10 minutes. 
and just keep retesting on here until the, until the paper is white. Okay? But I want you to make sure that if you're going to be a hairstylist and you want to have more than one iron, like I would have like four or five of these. Because, okay, say your iron do overheat. You ain't got time to really sit there and wait for it to cool down. So if your iron overheat or whatever, you want to have another one to pop in the oven. Okay? Oven, stove, whatever. So you just want to like make sure that you have all your bases covered. But that's basically how I used to test my irons, you know, to make sure they're good. You want to make sure um, you have paper ready because you want to constantly get that oil off of the iron. That's another reason why you want to constantly, even if you, um, you don't really need to test your irons, you kind of know, you still want to wipe your irons after each pass through the hair because oil from the hair of the client will make this look like it's burning and it will, you know, it make you feel like, oh God, they're burning when they're not. They just, you know, need to be cleaned off. And that's, those are just some tips that I picked up through my 12 years as a licensed professional, okay? So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, it's very simple. It's no big deal. Yeah, but if you're new, you definitely need to know this. You don't want to just be straight out like bam, bam, and then some burnt hair flakes are all over the place because you just didn't know. So, I'm just trying to help a sister out or a brother. And that's basically it. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Please subscribe to this channel. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.